Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Strakolaitis filling in for Laura Harris. Welcome to Auto News Now. Laura is on assignment in Pebble Beach. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Harris and as Kristen said, I'm currently in Pebble Beach for Monterey Car Week. I'm in the Gooding & Company tent their official auction house for the Concourse Pebble Beach. And as you can see behind me, there's tons of classic and vintage cars. We'll give you more updates from the show later on. We will have more later in the show about a flashy product reveal from the car show there. But first, GM is recalling nearly half a million SUVs in the U.S. because the seatbelt assembly may be defective. In May, there was a customer report of a separated seatbelt buckle assembly. The models are some Chevy, GMC, and Cadillac models with third rows. There have been no reported injuries. Customers will be notified on September 26th. You can see the full list of vehicles on our website, autonews.com. You've got a bit more time to voice your opinion to the government about self-driving vehicles. NHTSA has extended a deadline for public input on petitions by GM and Ford to deploy self-driving vehicles in some cities. You now have 30 extra days. Both automakers want to put 2,500 self-driving vehicles on the road each year. That is the max allowed by law for rideshare and delivery services. Cities like San Francisco and Oakland, California wanted more time to analyze the requests. Your cup of joe at Starbucks could one day come with a charging station on the side. Volvo is working on a pilot program called the Starbucks Hookup. The automaker will install up to 60 fast chargers at 15 Starbucks stores between Denver and Seattle. Volvo calls this an amenities first approach and says it will help them become an all-electric brand. Lincoln debuted its Lincoln Model L 100 concept in Pebble Beach. Our Laura Harris was there and explains what makes this vehicle unique. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Harris with Auto News Now. And right now I'm in Pebble Beach for the Monterey Car Show. I'm in Lincoln's tent and behind me is their star concept. We're gonna give you an inside look on the L100 concept. There's exciting news for Lincoln. The American luxury vehicle maker debuts its Lincoln Model L100 concept right at Pebble Beach's Concur de Elegance. It's an autonomous vehicle with an intelligent driving experience, connectivity, and software-driven innovations. Officials say the new concept has advanced Lincoln's vision and paved the way for the brand to rethink mobility of the future. The Model L is tail down, relaxed and sleek, and the arrow-shaped design is low to the ground. With all new features, it includes a next-generation battery cell and pack technologies an interactive center console chessboard that features a jewel-inspired chess piece controller that captures light and depth. New updates also include driver-centric and social seating configurations that allow for passenger engagement that can be tailored for the occasion. The Model L100 concept celebrates the brand's design heritage and dates back to the 1922 Model L which was built after Ford Motor Company's purchase of Lincoln. Reporting in Pebble Beach, I'm Laura Harris with Auto News Now. We'll have more from Pebble Beach next week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Auto News TV and online at autonews.com for updates all day, every day. I'm Kristen Strakolaitis. Have a great weekend.